Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. By default, Excel assumes we want our daily data rolled up at a higher level when using pivot tables. On this episode of Quick Takes, we'll see how to modify this pivot table behavior in order to summarize our data by day. There are definitely times when we might want our daily data rolled up to month or year. However, typically when I'm asking my data to be summarized with daily details, I want the summary at the daily level. Imagine it's 4 p.m. on a Friday and the boss asks for the last two weeks worth of data summarized by day. No problem, we download our data, perform the necessary cleanup, and begin building our pivot table. This request is a piece of cake. We'll be finished in no time, right? Let's build our pivot table by selecting any single cell in our data and then selecting insert from the ribbon. Next, select pivot table on the far left. To keep things simple, I'm going to build the pivot table on the same worksheet as our data, but you can put it wherever you'd like. We'll start by dragging quantity to the values section of the pivot table fields window. Let's change the format to number with the thousand separator, but no decimals. Our boss wanted to see the quantity summarized by day. Easy, we drag date to the row section and we'll be done. Wait, that's not right. Why is it showing the data by year? It appears Excel has automatically added years and quarters to my rows section. Let me just get rid of this and we'll be good to go. What? Now it's showing by month. All I want is the data by day like it is in the report. About this point is where I start pulling out my hair. It should have been drag in two fields, send an email, and clock out. But Excel seems to have other plans. Okay, deep breaths, no need to panic. I'm sure I can change how the date is shown from the field inspector. Nope, not here. Let me check the number section. Uh-uh, not here either. Let's cancel to get out of these windows. This is where the frantic Googling comes in as the boss is sending multiple chats asking for the report, each second on the work clock ticking louder and louder. You're about to give up and then there it is, the answer. To show our data by day, we need to first right click on one of the month values. From the pop-up, select Ungroup. Like magic, we have our quantity shown by day. All that's left is to put this summary in an email to the boss and go enjoy the weekend. If you found this video helpful, make sure to press those like and subscribe buttons. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.